everybody, my name is Allison. I'm the Programs Outreach and Youth Services Manager here at Monterey County Free Libraries. Thank you for joining me again today for another Self-Care Sunday. Today I am going to be talking to you about a technique I learned recently to help me get through some stressful situations. It is called the stop technique. And it's always good to have techniques like this in our tool belt to help us with stress. So the stop technique um, each letter of stop stands for a particular action that you will do as part of this process. The S stands for stop. So if you're feeling stressed or anxious, you'll just stop what you're doing in that moment. Um, it's usually good for me if I sit down or if you're able to separate yourself a little bit from the stress that you're going through. Um, take a seat, stop what you're doing to proceed to the next three steps. The T is for take a breath. So stop what you're doing once you've sat down or separated yourself from the situation, if you can, just take a couple of deep breaths. If you want some instruction on how to do some various breathing techniques, if you have a little bit more time to work on your breath, you can check out some of Sarah's earlier Self Care Sunday videos. She has a lot of great videos on different types of breathing techniques. But just a simple in and out in through your nose, out through your mouth breath will do, you know, and a couple of them really helps to ground and center you. So you just, you know, maybe take a couple seconds to go in and out. And then in and out. And one more time in and out. That always helps me. I wasn't even stressed when I started doing that and I already feel more calm through that. So we've got our S, our T. Our O is for observe. So after you've taken a couple of breaths to calm yourself and ground yourself, just observe what you're feeling. And part of mindfulness that I've been learning more about and working on is observing my feelings without any form of judgment. So it's really easy um, to be hard on yourself and to think, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I can't take it because I'm so stressed and what's wrong with me. But that's not helpful, those kinds of negative thoughts. You know, they're only going to serve to make you feel bad and more stressed. So try as hard as you can to observe what you're feeling without any sort of judgment. So whether that's just that you're saying, you know, right now I feel stressed. And then try to dive a little bit deeper and see if there's any other feelings in there that are a little bit more specific than just stressed. What are you stressed about and what kinds of feelings does that bring up? Also observe how your body physically feels. So take a second to do kind of a, a physical inventory. You know, maybe you're carrying a lot of tension in your shoulders and you can relax those. If you've done any of our yoga videos with Sarah, you know one of her favorites is doing some shoulder rolls and you could do some of that. Or one thing that I do a lot when I'm stressed is I don't realize that I'm clenching my teeth and my jaw. So if I take a second to observe my body, I can feel that tension. And then I take a little bit to, you know, relax my jaw, kind of twist it out. I even like to puff out my cheeks because that helps create some extra space in my, in my mouth to relax that jaw. Um, maybe you're feeling a lot of butterflies in your stomach. Just take a mental inventory and again, pass no judgment on how you're feeling. Um, no comments about, oh, my body's getting old or, oh, I'm out of shape or anything like that. Just think about how your body feels and pay some specific attention to those parts. So once you've stopped taking your breath and observed what you're feeling, that should give you enough time to then proceed with whatever you need to get done. So during the observation period, you can take a second to, to figure out maybe what needs to be done moving forward. Observe how you're feeling and observe what next steps need to be taken. And then proceed with whatever action you need to do. And hopefully through taking the, the preceding three steps, you're feeling a little bit more calm and ready to move forward. So that is our STOP technique. It stands for STOP, take a breath, observe, and then proceed. I hope that you find this helpful. All right, everybody, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.